Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how you can automatically create and send Stripe invoices to your clients. Here we go. Okay, so let me show you what we're gonna be building today. I think this is gonna be very valuable for you guys and potentially save you a lot of time in your day-to-day. -day. All right, so what we're doing is we're gonna build out a very simple CRM system here in Airtable that's gonna have the name of our clients, uh, the value of their deal or the amount we wanna invoice them, uh, along with some basic contact information. Out to the right, we're gonna have a button, and this is gonna be the only manual input field for this entire workflow that we are going to set as generate invoice every time we want to generate and send an invoice to this respective client, okay? So when we change that toggle out there, we're gonna launch a workflow in make.com, which essentially is going to create a new customer in Stripe, and then create the price that we're going to invoice them for, create the invoice for that person, and then finalize and send that invoice out automatically to their email that we have on, on file. Now I've built out a lot of similar systems like this for clients in the past, and it's saving them a lot of time. So if you're trying to build out a system like this and you can't get it to work, or it's slightly different than the one I'm gonna show you here, uh, hit me up down below at automatio.io, fill out a contact form, or just book a meeting with me, and I'd love to hear about your problems and potentially work with you. All right, anyways, let's get into the video. Well, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come into make.com, and we are going to build our trigger. All right, and so to do this, I'm just gonna drop in a webhooks module, custom webhook, and I'm going to create a new webhook here, and I'm just gonna call it um, Airtable Webhook Real Real, something like that, and I'm gonna hit save, and it's gonna give me this webhook URL, okay? I'm, I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna save that for later, okay? And then I'm gonna come back to Airtable, um, and I'm gonna come up to Automations, and I'm gonna build out an automation which essentially is going to fire a webhook to make.com every time that I change this field here from hold to generate. Okay, so every time I do that, I want to fire a webhook. And to do that, I'm gonna go to automations and I'm gonna set up a trigger that says when record matches a condition and specifically when the generate invoice field in our invoice generator table equals generate invoice that will be my trigger, all right? And then when I change that field to generate invoice, I wanna run a custom script, okay? And this is where we're going to actually uh, fire our webhook so that make.com can run its automation, okay? So we need to link Airtable with make.com. Now, in order to run a custom script in Airtable, you have to be on a paid Airtable plan. I think it costs $25 a month. Um, if you don't wanna pay that per month, there are other ways that you could automatically do this workflow you could potentially add a last modified um, time field here to serve as kind of your trigger back in make.com. Um, I find this a little less robust of a solution for clients, um, but there are workarounds, all right? But today we're gonna be using the um, custom script so that it's as clean as literally just choosing generate invoice and firing that webhook automatically, okay? So just keep that in mind here. Um, so anyways, again, when a record matches a condition, we're going to run a script. All right, in our script, I'll show you, our code is gonna be right here, okay? And so um, I will have this down below in the description for you, and you can just copy it in. And all we need to do is we need to come back to make.com, and we need to go grab our webhook URL that we've already created, and we're just gonna paste that in right here to our custom code. Let's paste that in, all right? And then you don't have to do anything else with the code. Okay, so just leave it as it is other than that. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna come down here to add input variable. And you want to give um, a new variable name, my record, okay? And this should tie to the variable that you have called out here in your custom code. Okay, so um, make a new variable called my record and give it a value of Airtable record ID right here. All right, and so what essentially we're doing here is we're linking Airtable with make.com. Every time that we change that drop down to generate invoice, we're gonna fire a webhook and we're gonna pass that Airtable record ID of that person, okay? Or this line has a unique Airtable record ID. We're gonna pass that into make.com where then we can pull the additional um, values out in make.com and start playing with it. All right, so I'm gonna come to automations. I'm gonna make sure that this automation is on 
And then I'm just gonna test this thing. So I'm gonna come into make, I'm gonna run my webhook. So it's now looking um, for a submission here in, in Airtable. And I'm just gonna change this back to generate invoice. That should launch my Airtable automation, it should fire my webhook, uh, and then make.com should pick it up here in just a second. Okay, perfect, so there it is. And so you can see we've just passed our Airtable record ID into make.com. So what we can do now is we can add an Airtable um, module and we can get a record by its ID, okay? Connect to your uh, Airtable account and then connect to the base that you know your table is in, kind of standard stuff. Go to our invoice generator table and then record ID, we're going to just pull in from our webhook. We're gonna hit okay. We're gonna run this again and just see what happens. So I'm gonna just switch this back to hold and then generate again and come back to make, wait for our webhook to fire here. And now we can see that we're pulling in all of those fields out of Airtable into make.com, including email, deal value, a summary of the services, all of our contact information, et cetera, et cetera. So we are now pulling in all of that information from Airtable to make. Now we can create our invoices. Okay, step number two is we need to go and actually set up our Stripe account, okay? Stripe is what we're gonna be using to create and send these invoices out. Um, and I need to, you know, basically enable some functionality inside of Stripe in order to get this all going. So I'm gonna come to Stripe, all right? I'm gonna to come to developers and I'm gonna to come to API keys. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna create a restricted API key. And I'm gonna give it a name, uh, make.com API key real, real, real. All right, and I'm just going to, just for simplicity, change all of my permissions out here to write permission, okay? You probably don't have to do this, but I'm kind of lazy. I don't wanna go through all of these different permissions. So let's just give this API key all the permissions that we can uh, and that, that'll be perfect. Okay, so just scroll all the way down here and give all these sections uh, right permission. We're gonna hit create key. You're going to have to go and actually type in your authenticator code here from your app. All right, so we'll type that in. All right, perfect. And then it gives you your new API key. You just wanna copy that. And you're gonna come back to make and we're gonna drop in a Stripe module here, okay? So Stripe, and we wanna create a customer, all right? And then we're gonna add a new Stripe API connection. Connection type is going to be Stripe API key. Give it a name. And then you wanna paste in that restricted key that you just copied right here. And that will connect your Stripe account to make.com, okay? So now we're connected. All right, so I'm gonna close out of this real fast. And what we're doing now is we're creating a customer in Stripe. So in order to send an invoice to somebody in Stripe, we have to have a customer to send it to. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create a customer. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna map some fields here, okay? So this is why we have all those fields back in Airtable, like email, address, phone, all that good stuff, because now we're gonna use all that information to create our customer in Stripe. All right, so we're just gonna map fields here. So email is gonna be our email field. Name will be the name field. Phone will be our phone field. Easy stuff here, guys. <laughs> and then we'll map our cities and addresses and all that good stuff. Postal code, state, et cetera, et cetera. You get the point, okay? So you'll create that and then we'll hit okay. All right. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna create an amount to invoice this customer for, okay? So we have to create an actual price or an invoice item before we can create and attach that to an invoice, okay? So let me show you what I'm talking about here. We're gonna drop in another Stripe module and this one's gonna be create an invoice item, all right? So scroll down, create an invoice item. Again, make sure you're connected to your Stripe account. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to actually attach this invoice item to a specific customer. Which customer? Well, the customer that we just made back in this module right here. Okay, so we want to attach this price to the customer ID of the customer we just created, okay? Sounds good. Now our amount is gonna be the amount of the invoice or the price that we're charging this client. 
So I'm going to do by a total amount. And my amount is going to be actually in my Airtable database here in my deal value field. Okay, so this is the importance of maintaining an up to date CRM. Because if you want to automate a lot of these systems, you can, you just got to make sure that your deal value back in your CRM that you're using is updated. Okay, so we're going to charge this client 2,500 bucks. All right. Uh, and so back here in make.com, you want to map your deal value. Now, very importantly, Stripe, for some reason, they invoice by pennies or cents. Okay. So if we feed in here uh, that we want to charge this client $2,500, well, Stripe is going to actually bill them just $25. Okay. So it's just going to think we're billing them 2,500 pennies. We want to bill them $2,500. Okay. So the simple fix and get around there is we just need to multiply our value by a hundred. All right. And that's just a little quirk of Stripe. That's just kind of what you have to do. Okay. So we're going to do deal value, which is $2,500 times 100. All right. And that will be $2,500 in Stripe currency. I'm just going to do us dollar here. So I'll just search for that. Make sure I get the right one. Obviously changes to whatever currency uh, you're going to be using. So USD. And then that is that. So I'm gonna hit okay. All right. Now the next thing I wanna do is now that we have our customer and we have our price, now we can actually create and generate our invoice automatically. Okay, so I'm gonna add another module and this is going to be our create an invoice module. right here. And then again, I'm going to attach this invoice to the customer that we've just created automatically. I am going to not do an auto advance. I'm not going to charge automatically. I'm going to send the invoice. Okay. I'm going to give them uh, seven days to pay. You can change that to whatever you want, but I'm going to give them seven days until the invoice is due. The description, I'm just going to map my little quick summary description field here. So membership services. And then very importantly, in our pending invoice items behavior field, I'm going to set this to include. And essentially what that is saying is that price item that we just made for 2,500 bucks, we want to include that on this invoice. Okay. So set that to include. And then that's that. So we'll hit okay. All right. So now we've created a customer. We have created the actual price for the invoice. And then we've used all of our Airtable data points on that client or on that customer to create a robust invoice for that client. The next thing we want to do is we want to actually finalize this invoice. So before we can send an invoice out to our clients, we have to actually finalize it. Okay. Just the way Stripe works, which invoice do we want to finalize? Well, the one we just made. So I'm just going to map that field here. I'm gonna hit okay. Okay. And then last but not least, we need to actually send the invoice out automatically to our client. Okay. Now that we finalize the invoice, how the heck do we send it out automatically? Well, to do that, we're going to drop in one last Stripe module here. All right. And it's going to be the make an API call module. All right. And then we're going to just use the URL of forward slash V1 forward slash invoices forward slash, and then we're going to dynamically pull in the invoice ID of the invoice we just made and finalized forward slash send. Okay. And we're going to change our method to post. And then you don't have to touch any of this down here, but you, we're going to have to change our method to post. Okay. So now every time that we create an invoice, we finalize it. We will then send that invoice, that invoice ID, uh, via the use of the Stripe API here. Okay. And that'll all happen automatically. So I'll hit okay. I'm going to hit save and then I'm going to run this and let's test the whole thing out. Okay. So my scenario is running here. I'm going to come into Airtable, and then when I'm ready to send this invoice out to this client for 2,500 bucks for the membership services that I provided, all I have to do is come out to the right and in this generate invoice field, I'm just going to say, I'm ready to generate invoice. And then we'll come into make and watch the magic happen. So we're firing that uh, Airtable webhook right now. Make just picked it up. We pull in all that information from our Airtable that we can populate our invoice with. 
Then we created a customer, created the price, actually created the invoice for that customer, finalized it, and then sent it out via email uh, to the customer email that we had back in Airtable. All right, so uh, this email right here. And so on queue, I just got an email uh, for 2,500 bucks from Stripe for membership services. And I can come in here and actually pay this invoice now inside of Stripe, okay? And if I come to Stripe and I refresh here on our customers tab, well, we can see what has actually happened here all automatically. So we've actually created a new customer, an email, and I can click into that customer and we can see the payments we've created for it, the invoices we've sent, and we can see I've just opened it. And then we can actually see down here, the actual logs of all the little API calls we made, okay? So we made a customer, we made a price, we created an invoice, we finalized that invoice, and then we sent that invoice, um, and it was all successful here with this 200 okay code, all right? So again, here's our invoice that we can pay in Stripe. This all happened automatically just by changing this one little button inside of Airtable. So guys, that is how you can automatically create and distribute Stripe invoices to your clients all automatically by using make.com. I hope this saves you guys a lot of time. If it does, go down and smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. If you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing, that would be awesome. If you have any questions, get down in the comments, and let me know. I'm trying to respond to all of them these days. Uh, so just hit me up down there uh, and that'd be awesome. Thank you guys so, so much for being here and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.